Najua nimekuwa nikiwaeleza wa Kenya kwamba kuna tofauti kubwa ya wale watu ambao wako kwa towns na kwa cities na wale ambao wako mashinani kwa villages. Kwa sababu wale ambao wako kwa towns wengi wao wana complain. Wanasema serikali imeumiza biashara, serikali imeumiza ukulima, serikali imeumiza hii, serikali ya kuna kazi, vijana wamesoma na hawana kazi. Lakini wale watu ambao wengi wao wako mashinani ni kama wale ambao wako Sirisia. Mliona wakati kesi ya Mheshimiwa Waluke ilianguka, watu kule Sirisia they broke into celebration. Ya, yeah? ukiangalia Machakos, Wavinya Ndeti alitoka UK mahali alikuwa ameshitakiwa kwamba alikuwa amepeleka pesa kuweka kwenye account ambayo imeibiwa watu wa Machakos na uliona vile alipokelewa kutoka kwa airport na a lot of mbwembwe na sherehe. Yeah? You see people who have voted for Waiguru twice even after NYS. You see people who voted for Gladys Bosholei even after she left the judiciary. You can see people who voted for Pavel Oimeke in Bonchari after he had a corruption case in um, Epra. You've seen people voted for Manduku in Nyaribari Masaba after he had a corruption case in Kenya Ports Authority. So, wa Kenya ambao wako mashinani, kidogo ni kama wameshanga. Wa Sisi tuna complain ini. Why are we complaining? They don't even understand bona tunafanya mandamano. And that is why I keep telling the people who are, especially on Twitter, on X, that yes, you can hold X spaces, but can you get to the ground? Can you go to Mashinani? Can you mobilize, organize, and go to the ground and actually do civic education? Lagini sasa wengi wao, ambao wako pale, kazi yao ni kutukejeli sisi ambao tunajaribu kufanya something on the ground. And you know, there is a big difference between holding an X space and doing something on the ground. When you hold an X space, the only thing you need is your phone and internet. When you are in Nairobi, maybe filing cases against the government, the only thing probably you need is your mind, printing papers, and like 3,600 uh, filing fees for your petition or 6,000 for your petition. So you cannot compare the cost of, you know, doing those things uh, there versus somebody who is traveling around Kenya. So you find people saying, Morarani Konman, Morarani Konman, he's raising resources. I want to tell all Kenyans that we must, we must, we must continue to fundraise and raise resources because there is no way we are going to win this war without resources. It is not possible. For example, mimi nikizungukanga Kenya a whole day, for example, to say many talk Kericho Green Stadium, niende barabara ya Chebunyo, Kobomet, nitoke Chebunyo, niende Bomet Stadium, nitoke hapo niende Fire Station, nitoke hapo niende kule kwa Governor's Office, nitoke hapo niende Mulot. If I do that circle the whole day, I do more than 400 kilometers or 500 kilometers. Hiyo ni full tank. That's 18,000. Hata kama niko na pesa, nikifanya hivyo siku 3, 4, 5 imeisha. Na ninawacha. But because I've been supported by Kenyans wananitumia mafuta, sijaishindo kuenda kwa ground. And by the way, this week I'm resuming the Vampire Diaries. So we're going back to the ground to do the Vampire Diaries. And that is very important so that we go to the ground and do civic education. And I want to encourage all Kenyans. Mambo ya hao wenye wanasema konman, nini, nini, don't listen to them. In developed countries, in America and other countries, candidates actually raise finances from the public. And when you raise finances from the public, the public owns you. They own you. So for that reason, you cannot be bought. So let's continue to do that. And those who have not asked for resources, we also need to ask where they are getting resources. Kama kuna mtu anafanya kitukubwa na aja tuomba resources, we need to be very questionable. And afa tuulize, is this person funded by NGOs? If he's funded by NGOs, what is the interest of these NGOs? Is this person funded by politicians? If he's being funded by politicians, what's the interest of these politicians who are funding this person? Is this person funded by billionaires? If billionaires are funding this person, what's the interest? So we who are raising money from Kenyans, 10 bob, 100 bob, 1,000, let's keep doing it. Let nobody discourage us. Let nobody insult us. Let nobody kill our spirit. As we talk about financial accountability, let us also remember that financial accountability begins with registering a corporate bank account. And a corporate entity, it cannot be a public benefit organization because this is not NGO work. This is a political problem, political solution. It cannot be a CBO because a CBO is too small, it's based on a community. It cannot be a, a, a public uh, liability company or a private limited liability company because this is not a for-profit work. This is a CBO. 
So for that reason, a political problem, you can only form one type of organization. And that type of organization is political party. Now some of these people are telling me, who see register political party, who see register political party. Who can register political parties? There are more than 15 applications from last week and last week part one. More than 15 people have attempted to register political party. So who online when I say, don't register, but on the ground they are registering. Me in a weave too. Uh, this is what I want to tell those people um, who are demanding for financial accountability. We are coming together on that issue. Um, remember, we've been receiving this money on a personal ground, but now we formed a technical team and a financial mobilization technical team. If you want to access the book of accounts, you can always come to the office because it's now that we are setting up those structures. You can come and have a look at them. Uh, but we are getting there and we are building those structures and structures take time to build and they are getting there. But are we going to stop the work to build the structures? No. Let the work continue and the structures to follow. I promise to remain faithful and to remain accountable. I want you guys to understand what I mean when I say Nina Amini Tabadilika. In short, I believe it will change. I'm actually serious when I say I believe in change and I believe that Kenya will change. I know most of you have lost hope. Wengi wenu umetafuta kazi ya mjawai kupata. Wengine umefunga biashara zenu. Wengine umepoteza mali yenu. You've lost your plots. You've lost your pickup. Ile vitu ulitengeneza yote imepotea. And so most of you don't have hope that uh, there is anything that will happen in Kenya because <clears throat> of how things are going. You know, we we have an, a president that owns parliament and we should be worried that the president was able to pass that motion by 281 MPs. It shows that anaiza pitisha kitu yote, including a state of emergency. So it means anything he wants can pass through parliament with an overwhelming majority. And that's a very dangerous thing kwa sababu ina manisha, there are no checks and balances. Um... Most of you have given up hope because even uh, when you look at some of the decisions that come from our court, unapata some of the decisions are actually rolling us backwards. Um, but why do I believe that Kenya will change? Mimi ni naamini itabadilika. Ni naamini itabadilika because Kenyans have started changing. You know, the biggest problem has always been the citizens. Shida mbayo mekuanga Kenya sio viongozi. Ni wakenya wenyewe. Wakenya wenyewe kwa sababu ya ukabila. Kusema huyu ni mtu wetu. Eh, huyu ni mtu wa kabila yetu. Yeye ni atatusaidia. Lakini wakenya wengi. If you look even at uh, the random views from public participation. Most of the people. They have gotten over tribalism. And most are coming out of tribalism. The other thing is. Uh, most Kenyans wamefika mahali yenye sahi, itakuwa ngumu sana to bribe them during ele elections. They have seen how much pain bribery causes to them. Mtu anawanunulia leso, anawapea mwavuli. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they've started seeing how, how, how it is affecting their life. How we get bad leadership. Mimi chenye naeza wambia from where I am in uh, my, you know, rest and holiday, this is what I can tell you. Bad leaders come from bad citizens. Na mpaka sisi wenyewe tubadilishe vile tunafanya vitu vietu, we will not, um, will not see change. Well, both kwa mefika. Hello, say hi to Kenyans. <laughs> say hello. Say ma hello. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> bad leaders come from bad citizens. They come from bad citizens because you know, you know, you know, Unamwambia umenipea mia because utai kurudisha change. Ama kama we unauzanga TV fake luthuli. Na unasema hii ni original. Na unajua ni fake. It means ukifanyo biashara yako ya kuuza electronics na upate pesa na wendo usimame kiti ya ubunge. 
it means we are expecting a very corrupt member of parliament. If you are an employee, umeandikwa na kampuni, na unaibia kampuni, you are, you are already stealing from your employer. Um, na, <coughs> it, it actually shows that if you are given leadership, hata wewe utakuwa even more corrupt than the leaders that we have. Kama we ni mwalimu na unakula pesa za remedio, um, ama principal unakula pesa za remedio ulipi walimu. Or um, kama we ni mtu wakuza nyanya, unambia mtu ni tatu mbao, uh, kikuambia ni ekeza mia, unamake sure umeficha nyanya moja ama mbili, badala ya kumuongeza. Kama we ni mekani kumeletewa gari utengeneze, unangoa mafla ya client lafu nasema sio wewe whoever you are i mean kama wewe ni mtu broker wa mashamba na unauzia mtu shamba yenye unajua haina taito na unajua iko na kesi lakini haumwambii kama iko na kesi it means ukifanya hiyo biashara yako ya property na ufike mahali u succeed ukwe mbunge we are expecting very bad leadership so we need to check our society values and ask ourselves what do we believe in and uh, um what are our societal values that's something we need to interrogate because as long as we have bad values we'll always have bad leaders because leaders are a reflection of who we are lakini ile kitu inanifurahisha na inanipatia hope na ndo nasema ninaamini itabadilika ni wakenya wameanza kubadilisha mwenendo sana there is a lot of change happening on the ground me i travel across the country i even now i'm far away from Nairobi and um, where I am I interact with the locals I talk to them I spare some time and have conversations with people in market centers and people are changing people are really really changing how they think and people are impressive uh, one of the things I've realized is uh, what wengi ukiwaambia wangoje paka 2027 they, they sound very very impatient wanashindwa eh tutaumia hivi paka 2027 so Kenyans are very angry and very impatient, so I'm not sure whether this government will actually get to 2027. What I'm sure is that um, William Ruth is not going to leave power easily. He already knows he has made many mistakes, therefore he may not want an election. And if there is an election, he might want to ensure that that election he has no opponent, so that uh, he wins by probably 98% the way it happens in Rwanda. So we are bracing for very dangerous times ahead. Um, the other thing is that um, don't have jobs. Na vila wana kazi wanaitaji wakule na waishi na wavai. So we are looking at a situation where we might have several criminal gangs coming up because of people, because of you know some criminal elements being able to use the youth because the youth are available for use because they don't have jobs, they are not gainfully employed. So because they are available for use, we could be seeing the rise of very serious criminal gangs. And we are in Haiti trying to save Haiti, but I think we might uh, we might head that Haiti way unless, you know, the government comes up with a plan to give youths jobs. Because right now there is no hope. Hakuna hope ya youths kupata jobs. And that's the truth. And, and it really breaks people's hearts. So there is hope for change in Kenya. But hope for jobs for the youth Sioni because the policies I see from government, they are not serious policies that will, you know, give youth employment. Most businesses are closing. So even the youth who already have jobs, we are going to lose them. Kwa hivyo, kama wa Kenya, tuamuke, tugutuke, kila mtu wafanya chenya naweza. This is something I always say in all my messages whenever I'm speaking to Kenyans. I always tell them. Guys, hii kazi si yangu peke yangu. Najua mimi morara sometimes I fight until I get confused. Paka sengine mimi mwenyewe nachanganyikiwa ama nachoka. Um, but kupumzika ni mbinguni. I promise you to remain very firm and uh, person of integrity. I promise that I'll never be bought or compromised. That's a promise I'm giving to all of you. Um, because actually even the history and the background of where I come from CCC watu wa kununuliwa. We are very firm with our principles. But what I can ask the rest of you Kenyans is, you know, do what you can do. For the diaspora, you know, the most you can do is make sure as your people at home wanawaitisha pesa for this and that. 
you attach condition the same way us ikitupea pesa huwa ina attach conditions to it attach conditions tell them we need change in kenya now talk to your families back at home talk in whatsapp groups for those who are providing funding for activities in kenya not just for me there are many many people doing beauty you know strong things like akio mtata is doing many court cases he needs support of course printing papers and you know even hiring lawyers for research support these activities send your 10 20 30 dollars or or if you have god has blessed you with more you can give if you are here in kenya make sure you participate use either the skill that you have or the knowledge that you have you are an it guy or you are a musician or an actor Make sure you use that talent or skill that God has given you or that you learned in school to effect change. Kwa hivyo usijione kama mdogo na usijibi little with your little you know circle or with your little influence there is a lot that you can do. What what Kenya has done to us and what the leaders of Kenya continue to do and have done to us. But it's also time we turn around and look at the mirror and ask ourselves what have we done for Kenya? And what can we do for Kenya? He kazi si amorara pikiyake. Or other civic leaders who are trying to fight the way into good governance and an end to corruption. He kazi si oyetu pekietu. This job is for every single Kenyan. Rich or poor. Even a street boy has a role to play. Even a person sick in hospital has a role to play. Even a police officer and a military officer, they have a role to play. Musicians and content creators and actors, you have a role to play to create content that will communicate into the hearts and souls of Kenyans. You've seen what Crazy Kanas tried to do. His video on Instagram alone has 47 million views. It's being viewed in Kenya and abroad. I've received that video even from people who are not even Kenyans who are living abroad. He's doing his part. I am Morara, I'm doing my part. What are you doing, you who are watching this video? What are you doing? Of course, watching this video is part of it. Liking my content is part of it. Sharing my content with your friends for them to get this education is part of it. But you need to pick something you can do. Not all of us can be good speakers, not all of us can be orators, not all of us can be creative um, content creators or musicians, not all of us can be politicians. But surely, there is something you can do. And you need to ask yourself what you can do. You need to pick up what we call citizen responsibility. You need to ask yourself, why are you Kenyan? And as you are Kenyan, what are your role as a Kenyan? I can assure you that one of those roles is keeping the people in government accountable. If you are working in a government ministry, you see corruption every day, and you've not registered a fake account, for you to tell us the corruption, we who are confident and can speak about it and who don't care about death or abduction, if you've not shared that information with us, then you are part of the problem in Kenya. You are enabling bad governance in Kenya. If you're working in a bank and you can see millions and billions of dollars or Kenya shillings being transferred from account to account and you know that it is fishy and you know that it is corruption proceeds and you've not told us anything or you've not sounded an alarm, even through a proxy, you are part of the problem in Kenya. If you are there and you are celebrating corrupt leaders, saying those who are questioning their source of wealth are jealous, saying that those who are demanding for bad governance will fail, that it has been tried before and it failed and therefore it cannot succeed. If you are celebrating those leaders because they come from your tribe, you are definitely part of the problem that is in Kenya. You are responsible for the poverty, for the pain that the people of Kenya are suffering. It is time for you to change and work with the rest of Kenyans as we demand better governance and better change. At this moment in time, we cannot trust anybody in government or, or, or opposition. Because even opposition has benefited from corruption. They do deals with government. They register companies and do tenders with government. 
It's not possible to trust them at this time. But we need change. And I believe that that change will happen. I don't have to be any political position. I don't have to be a governor or senator or anything. My interest is a fair and just system. I'll go back to my business, make my money. But if I'm entrusted with a civic duty or a political responsibility, I will do it with uttermost excellence and without corruption and with very great integrity. I want to ask you who is watching this video to also pick something that you can do and do it for Kenya. Sisi wacha tunakuitaji. Kenya inakuitaji. Chagua kitu ambayo utafanya kufaidi Kenya.